every design has a point where it has to be what's called locked down or ready for shipment. But you also want the ability to use that assembly going off forward to newer jobs. But you still need the ability to go back to find out what was shipped. Fusion, when used with Fusion Teams, has introduced a new process called Milestones. This video will try to explain that for you. Milestones work best when you're using link components in your design, so the component can be used in other designs in different milestone states. But it will work in the other ones too, where you're not linked. Notice in these three assemblies I have a common mounting bracket. A, B, C all have the same mounting bracket. So we're going along designing these three in a team atmosphere. And what we get to a point where we want to lock down the design of assembly C to make sure we have that design for shipment. But we want the ability to continue on with changing the design as we go along. So let's get started. Assembly C version 2 is ready to be made into a milestone, what's going to be shipped to the customer. You can make the milestone in many ways. One is while you're saving, but since this assembly has not changed, the save option is not available. So I'll go to the data panel, find Assembly C, right click on it, and create milestone. I will name the milestone Shipping Design. and create it. If you expand the version, you'll see that it has been flagged as a milestone, version 2. If you look up here, you also see the milestone flag on version 2. So we've set our milestone for Assembly C. So somewhere in the team, someone says they need to change the mounting, the common bracket to add two holes to the vertical leg. So I'll go into assembly A and I see I have two of these brackets. I'll edit and place one of them. I'll then, I've already done it in the timeline, I'll just drag it down to add the two holes. I'll then hit the checkbox to finish. So we have two holes in the vertical leg. I will save it in assembly A. If I go to assembly B, which uses the same bracket, you'll need an update. So I'll do it, no problem. The two holes appear and I'll save it. Now go to assembly C, it's version two. I don't want to save version two, but I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and update it and you'll see what happens. We have the two holes. We'll then save and guess what we get? Version three. So if I go to the data panel, refresh it, and I'll see that version of Assembly C is in version three, and the milestone is still at version two. So let's show you how this works as far as the milestone. I'll go ahead and close all the assemblies and then I'll go to the data panel. I'll find assembly C and if I don't see the drop down of versions, I'll hit the little drop down arrow. I'll then go and find the milestone, which was version two. Notice the flag. The flag up here has changed somewhat. It's called a historical milestone. It's telling you that there is a other, another version, which is the actual milestone. So if you go back and open or find these three dots, left click on them, you can open up the milestone. And as you can see, it does not have any holes in the vertical leg. It also is read only. See the read only? The little padlock. You could update if you wanted to, but you cannot save it. So the point is you have preserved a milestone in history you can go back to to find out what you ship to the customer. So let's continue with the design of Assembly C. So we open it up and let's say this design needs to have 
all the holes turned off because it can be welded completely. Let's go ahead and edit the bracket. We'll go down to the timeline for quickness and just run the timeline back for all the holes to be gone and finish edit. Hit save and notice we can make this a milestone if we want. Let's do that. Let's check the box and we'll name it this one as new design. This is not the shipping design. This is just a new design moving forward. And then we'll say it's been saved. We'll close it. We'll look at our data panel and we'll see now that we have a version. Let's refresh it. We have a version 4 which is a milestone. Notice the flag has changed back to milestone. So that's another way to set a milestone. Let's take a look at this design on the actual web database where the team will be reacting. If we click we'll see that we have our different assemblies and the common bracket. We have our milestone on assembly C we just set and we have a historical milestone on the common bracket. If we go to view this we can actually look at the different milestones. We can sort only four milestones and look at either one shipping design or the new design. This is available when you're viewing it also. So if we go into the viewing screen we can pick whichever version we would like to see. The one shipping design had only two holes in the lower leg and the new design only has two no holes at all. Going back to the actual directory Notice if you would like to make a milestone from here, you can also do it by hitting a drop down arrow. If you're viewing a model, say assembly B, which has no milestones, you can actually do it from here also with the three dots at the end. You can create a milestone here. So as you can see, milestones have a great use when working in a team environment where you can keep straight what you have shipped, new designs, designs that you want to keep uh, track of, or things like that. As you see in this one, we have two different designs and as we continue along with the design process without interruption. I hope this helped you do a better modeling job in Fusion 360.